What's up ladies and gentlemen, my name is Carrie and today we are doing the highly requested, super anticipated pen collection video of 2020. Uh, if you watched my uh, goals for 2020, you know that I wanted to keep my pen collection under 20 pens for 2020. I failed. <laughs> uh, for two reasons. One, as you can see here, my obsession with Caveco Sports has grown, and boy oh boy, <laughs> I bought a lot. I have nine of them currently, probably we'll have more in the future. Um, but yeah, let's actually get started. I'm going to remove those two. Let's get started with the Caveco Sports, because goodness gracious, this video is going to be a long one. So, definitely, uh, obsession with Quebecco Sports. I have nine. Uh, this, like, turquoise one from uh, Goldspot. This guy here, also from Goldspot. Uh, this one is from Galen Leather. And then the rest uh, are from Nib Smith, uh, Dan Smith. Um, all of them are the frosted... Uh, like this is frosted, this is frosted, this is their frosted collection. This one's the coral, this one's a skyline gray, uh, and then the uh, all sport light blue or, or sky blue, something like that, um, in a pen holder that I also got from Galen Leather. Uh, so we're going to try and move on relatively quickly because this is going to be a long video. So let's slide in a tray, shall we? Boom! Okay, so from left to right, we have a Monteverde Ascenza, which apparently is not really capped, so let's do that. <laughs> uh, then we have the Sailor Pro Gear, uh, no, yeah, it's Sailor Pro Gear um, Coffee Brown or Mocha Brown, something like that. This was a Sailor exclusive um, that I bought from somebody online from Australia. This is the Edison Collier Rock Candy. The Pilot uh, Kakuno, I believe. Does it say? Yes, Kakuno. Cute. <laughs> uh, this one is the Montegrappa Elmo in the Goulet Pens uh, Violet exclusive color. Uh, these two pens here are Wonder Pens. No, not Wonder Pens. My goodness, that's a retailer in Toronto. Wancher Pens. Uh, this was their dream... Uh, Dream Pen from Kickstarter. Uh, that is a red uh, Yerushi finish. Urushi finish. Uh, this is also the Dream Pen body, um, but it's the one with the leaves, which I can't remember right now. I think it's the Bokashi, but I'm not totally positive. The Pelican M805 uh, Streisman finish. Uh, the Lamy 2000 uh, medium nib. Uh, this is the Pilot Custom 823, also medium nib, and a good old Lamy Safari. I also have not a fountain pen, uh, but a Gerbon glass dip pen uh, that I use every once in a while. So let's slide this guy away and let's bring in the bad tray, the big baddies. How about them apples? <laughs> Left to right again, we have the uh, Omos Ojiva Alba Cocktail, the Visconti Homo Sapiens Midnight in Florence, uh, and then we have my Aurora Optima uh, Collection. I have no idea what any of these are called. I can't remember. This one was a 365 exclusive one. Same with this uh, that I bought off of uh, the internet as well. This is their Violet with... Um, rose gold trim and then this is their burgundy uh this is this one you can buy all year round i have two mont blanc pens uh both le petit prince ones i have the platinum century 3776 my og that i'll probably never ever ever get rid of uh and then this one was one of the like special edition ones um that i got from dan smith at nibsmith.com as well uh not that you can probably tell but that has an architect grind. So I don't ink this one up very often, but every once in a while, just to play. The uh, Parker Dufold Centennial. Um, and finally, another Lamy 2000 in the uh, Bauhaus Special Edition Blue thingy. 
And then I did actually just pick up two more pens uh, that I have not even inked up. I haven't taken them out of the box. I haven't done anything with them um, because I just purchased them to review. So I have a little pilot uh, here, which I don't even really remember the name of. I think it's the Explorer, something like that. Um, so that is technically in my collection, but I don't know anything about it. And then I got a Moon Man, if I can open the box. This box is like crazy tight. Oh, goodness. Um, I think this is the C1. I'm not sure. They don't really have like real names. Um, so I have this now to try as well. And then... I have technically, let me just move this all around. And then technically I do have one more tray that again, technically is in my collection, but I'm not considering them part of my collection because I plan on selling them. Uh, the reason being that I still have them is because Scriptus was canceled this year because of COVID, like everything else, sucking the fun out of life. So, <laughs> Oh boy. Um, so technically I still have these, but they uh, won't be a part of my collection when eventually uh, a pen show does come around and I can sell them. So this is the Platinum PTLA 5000. Uh, this is the Pilot Varsity 6.0. Uh, this is just a Visconti Inkwell. The Pelican M405 in Silver Streisman the Esterbrook SD in Honeycomb. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous pen. I just don't use it very much. Uh, this is the Aurora. Oh gosh. I don't even remember what this one's called now. Uh, it's like a remake of one of their original pens. This is uh, pen something. I'll, I'll put the name here. I don't even remember what this is, but it's a double ended pen. Uh, I have, this is the same brand as this, which I don't quite remember. Oh, pen BBS. That's right, Pen BBS. Uh, this one is 480. I don't remember what number this is, but they number their pens. Uh, two Aurora Dual Folds uh, in finishes you can't get anymore. A Twisby A All Mini. This is the Goulet Exclusive um, from 2016. Uh, yeah, from 2016. Uh, Aurora. This is one of the, the, the very first flex pens that they came out with. Um, so that's up and a Pelican M205, uh, I believe in broad, yes. And then uh, a nib unit here, uh, this is the Omniflex, or, oh, it's not the Omniflex, but I will be selling the Omniflex. I forgot it's in a pen right now, I'm gonna clean out. Um, so technically I have those, um, and I'm also going to be adding the Monteverde Ascenza to this collection of, I'm going to sell them. They're all great pens. They all work beautifully. Uh, I just don't use them and they should go to a good home. So these technically, technically exist, but you know, you know, if, if it wasn't for the COVID, they'd, they'd be in a better home right now. So this is my collection, guys. What do you think? Um, I definitely did not stick to my 20 under 20. I have 32 if you count all of my uh, little Kavecos here. But, you know, I, I think I stayed pretty close considering, like I said, usually, sorry for shaking the camera, usually when uh, I go to Scriptus, which is the pen show in Toronto in uh, the last... Sunday of October, I believe, um, I am able to, you know, rehome a lot of them. Uh, but this year I was not able to do that. And I haven't found a good way to be able to post all of them all at once online. Um, but if you know how, let me know. So uh, what do you guys think of the collection? Do you have anything uh, here that you've seen before? Uh, do you have anything? Do you have any of these pens yourself? Uh, at home. <laughs> um, yeah, that's, that's about it, guys. Thank you for watching. I very much appreciate it. If uh, you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comment section down below. Um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it again. 
hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe button if you want to see more like it every Monday and Friday and occasional Q&A on Tuesday. Oh, gosh. I love you guys. All right. See you later. Bye-bye.